Welcome, Welcome back. back! Project I Wanna Live, week 17. I'm Vanna. I'm Melissa. And yes, it's another week. And this week what we wanted to focus on, uh, definitely, you know, feeling good and good mm -hmm. spirits. Uh, if you've been following us on like Instagram <laughs> and Twitter and Facebook and all those places. Yeah. Um, in a jolly mood, as Melissa said, and just, just being really excited to do the video today and to update you guys on what's been going on. Uh, but one of the first things that we wanted to speak about today to uh, let you all know uh, is number one, uh, Melissa has gotten her menstrual cycle again. So now what are we, four months Yay. in? Yay! Yes, four months four in. Four months in, Yeah. and she has it, so that's amazing. So we are consistent all these months ever since we started the project. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the reason why we really focus on updating you guys about this all the time <laughs> is, you know, we really don't really uh, speak about why. And it's because last year, Melissa was diagnosed with something called PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that don't know what it is, it's a hormonal disorder, and it just affects all of, obviously, all of the hormones in the body, and they're not balanced. So Melissa will talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that she's been experiencing with this, mm -hmm. uh, but one of the main things that I wanted to point out, which, which I thought was really interesting, is that 60% of women that have PCOS, they have very um, tough times with weight management. Mm -hmm. And they can be having just normal caloric intake, just eating normally, but when, they, when their body um, starts to break down the food, it gets stored as fat right away. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women, 60% of them, struggle with weight management issues and they can fall into obesity very quickly right. because of this syndrome, because of this disorder. So I thought that was interesting because, you know, with what we're doing, definitely we're not, obviously Melissa has been aware of this the whole time. Right. <laughs> um, and, and, and I knew this too. Uh, but it's not an excuse for what we're doing for, you know, getting to the goal of losing 100 pounds, but rather just something really great to know because making lifestyle changes, yes. working out, yes. eating healthier, definitely helps to keep these things under control. And although maybe the pounds come off a little bit slower than someone else, mm -hmm. they're coming off, which right. is the main thing. Exactly. So if you can just um, explain a little bit about um, your journey with PCOS yeah. and just even the project yes. and share that with us. Well, yeah, I was, um, I told Van, I was like, I think I'm ready to talk about this now. And, uh, the reason why I wasn't ready to talk about it is because before when I got diagnosed last year, I mean, I was already heavy. I had bad eating habits. I was depressed. I was going through a lot, but I was gaining weight even faster and it was due to the PCOS and I didn't feel comfortable talking about it yet in the video because I saw how my habits in the past used that as an excuse of why I couldn't lose weight and I said you know what I need to just work hard and be um, time tested and prove myself through these weeks as, as the weeks go on in the video so people can see that I'm not letting some syndrome or some disorder or some hormonal imbalance stop me so now that we've been really working on um, my health and with the project some symptoms that I used to suffer from was last year in 2012 the whole entire year I think I got my period maybe three or four times top out of the whole year so as a woman that's really bad for your body because hormonally you're not releasing the right hormones that we need to release to get our just it's just crazy I'm not gonna go into the, all the technical terms but just know that it's very important for women to have their monthly cycle for lots of reasons secondly um, obviously the weight gain I gained a lot of weight and most of it was in my midsection which has to do with PCOS I started to have really bad severe adult acne like all over my face everywhere I started having um, hair growing in places that we don't want to grow like you name it this uncomfortable things that were embarrassing was started to happen to my body um but a way there's no cure for pcos but a way you can counteract it is by changing your lifestyle which are things that we've been talking about having a low glucose diet low sugar diet a low carb diet exercising nutrition supplements and these are all the things that we've been implementing in the last four months and like vanna said maybe I, I'm, you know, maybe I'm not losing as much weight as I like to or as, as people maybe expect me to, but for me, dealing with this uphill battle and just all the different changes, I think that we're doing a great job. And the reason why I wanted to talk about it is to show people that no matter what you have, there's no excuse. 
when you decide to do something, when you have your mind set on it, when you focus on it, there's nothing, no barrier, no disease, no disorder, no person, no anything that can get in your way. And I've held this in for the last few months and I didn't want to talk about it because I didn't want it to be my excuse. But I'm sharing it now because I feel like today I was just so happy because I feel like I'm breaking through barriers and oh my God, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel so excited. Um, there's a goal that I've been trying to reach um, and I finally reached it today. Um, and I just feel so great and I'm so excited for this project and I just hope that more people can get on board and we can just do this together because it's so worth living um, to enjoy your life and to be healthy. So that's a little bit about that and those symptoms obviously I'm not suffering from them anymore because I'm changing and it's one step at a time and here we are you know almost five months later four months later and things are starting to <sighs> turn out how we want them to be so yeah <laughs> <laughs> wasn't but, expecting the emotions I but know, it's okay I've been so come. jolly all day <laughs> well you're still jolly yeah I am <laughs> but it's happy tears so I've been waiting to release the results so, okay, I'll okay. Say it. You, say it. Say it. you say it, you say it, you say it. So within the past two weeks, you know, we've been updating that, okay, we're only going to update the weight and the measurements every two weeks. And within the last two weeks, Melissa is down five, four pounds. Four pounds. <laughs> Not five, four. And we are at 235. So that's a total of 15 pounds. Yes. 15 pounds. This is that's so amazing. amazing. And to go over, because we haven't been clear the last few videos. So in the, within the last, um, last week, my bust stayed the same. But since we started this video, I've lost four inches from my bust line. Last week, in my waist, I lost one inch off my waist. That's a total of five and a half inches. Five and a half inches. That's amazing. <laughs> and then <laughs> last week, um, I lost, uh, last few weeks, I lost a half inch off my hips, and that's a total of four inches. So that's almost, that's ten and a half inches I have lost off my body in the last four months. So, hey, inch by inch, we're getting there pound by pound, one step at a time. So we want to just thank you for watching and supporting, and uh, let's just keep going. Yes, 15 pounds down. Bye, guys. Bye.